Everybody has a different level when it comes to educating yourself before investing in a whole home generator. I just want to go through some of the basics to make sure you're comfortable with what you need to know. This is our generator right here. You can see there's some cabling that runs into the wall and behind me is my propane tanks. Uh, let's just go into the electrical room in the basement and just to see how that's all sort of connected together. Gotta take off my shoes. All right, it's a little tight in here. I think you'll get to see what you need to see. So here's my main panel, right? My circuit breaker panel. And this, this is my transfer switch. Now, basically electricity comes from the meter out here, goes into the transfer switch. Normally, it comes through this conduit and into the main panel. Now, the transfer switch can sense when there's no electricity coming from the meter, all right? And you can see the two cables that I showed you outside, they come into the bottom here. Actually, this one goes in, this one comes out. And those two cables, uh, this one here is the electrical, comes into the transfer switch. The one that goes out is more communications. So the transfer switch detects when there's no electricity coming, it sends a signal out to the generator to start up, start warming up. And whenever the generator is ready, only takes a few seconds usually, it'll send electricity through the other cable and the transfer switch then switches power. Instead of coming from the meter, it's going to switch it to the generator. And the generator then, I can't find it, then the generator is, is um, powering up your panel. So that's basically what happens. Now to do that, it, it takes a little bit of effort to get all that set up. So I'll show you a little bit about what we had to do to make that happen. So our generator is on the other side of that wall. Outside, it's a bungalow, so you can sort of see where the ground level is just uh, below that window. So just on the other side of that wall is a generator. The cables run in through the ceiling. They go above this T-bar ceiling right into our utility room here, our laundry room. And you can see them right up here now, those two cables, and they run up there. And then they make a 90 degree turn and they go to that closet room with the panel in it. So that takes a little bit of effort. If, you're, if your ceilings are finished, it's not always gonna be easy to run those cables. Now let's just go back outside. We'll look at the meter for a second. And we'll go back to the propane tanks. Better put my shoes back on. It's cold out today in Canada. All right, so now we're going back outside. And here's the meter, right? This is the utility electricity coming in. We'll go back. And of course, we have our propane tanks and generator. Now, I have propane. A lot of people might have natural gas. That's about it. If you're um, looking for a generator, I'll put this down for a second. If you're looking for a generator, you can give us a call Look up our website, greenstarpower.ca. We've got information in there. Don't forget, please like the video and uh, subscribe to our page. And here's a link to um, another video in our uh, series of videos on Generax and generators. Have a good day.